Okay, so I realized in my last video that my old microphone was still hooked up and was far enough away where you basically couldn't hear me at all. Well, you could if you turned up the sound, but then there was like a lot of static and junk and that wasn't really... no. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna upload the first video that I made. It's about 17 minutes long, but I'll unlist it and I'll link it with this video and stuff. The last video, I started at the note that you see at the beginning from Daniel to Daniel. Um, you know what, I think I'm gonna read it again because I'm pretty sure that a lot of my friends are gonna watch this, or at least a few, that may be a lot, but they, I'm, I have a feeling that they don't really know the story, so I'm gonna catch everybody up audially, and then I'll continue with the old archives, which is probably not as bad as the wine cellar. Alright, so, it's Daniel's note to self. 19th of August, 1839. I wish I could ask you how much you remember. I don't know if there will be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can tell you- I can't tell you why, but know this. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brennenberg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. Absolutely horrible. Go to the inner sanctum, find Alexander, and kill him. His body is old and weak, and yours young and strong. He will be no match for you. One last thing. A shadow is following you. It is a living nightmare, breaking down reality, and creating this weird organic shit out of it. I've tried everything and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Redeem us both, Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits and murder him. Your formal self, Daniel. So basically, I got out of that area and then I got to the main entrance and there was this whole cutscene about Alexander or about Daniel asking Alexander about the refinery and stuff. You go down, find the organic stuff, and you can't break through it. So you gotta go to the laboratory. Find out that all the stuff you need to make a potion that'll make it go away is in the wine cellar, which is locked. So then you gotta go to uh, this place, the old archives, because there's nothing else left for you to do. Sixteenth of May, eighteen thirty nine. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. I kind of like the voice acting for Daniel. And Alexander was actually pretty excellent, too. Yeah. I said I was going to start the bottom up in the last video, even though nobody's going to hear it in the... this place. I'm not 100% sure that there's absolutely nothing in here. 
catalog? Catalogs. I know there is a puzzle. Oh no, there is there is something in here, but I'm not gonna. That's helpful. Contract. I hereby offer my full attention and services to Alexander Baron of Brennenberg. This contract will reign for a total of three years when my freedom shall return to me. In addition, Alexander Brennan of Baron of Brennenberg is to recommend my services at the Prussian Royal Court within the sanctum of the Order of the Black Eagle. May no man break the seal. Wilhelm Kelsen. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. I don't even think we'll help us more, so we can just ignore that shit. Put your clothing in the third drawer, really? Seventeenth of May, eighteen thirty nine. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. Daniel's a racist. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped.
Okay, like, I, okay, I know, nobody's seen this yet, but there's a piano in the middle when something was playing it. I know I'm, like, really risking my sound. see me accidentally pressing E on. Don't get me right, it's gonna freak you out. centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. 
The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us, especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. Wow, it doesn't even like let you look back. It it tries to I'm not even moving my mouse. That's really cool. Okay, that's really great. I reached out, closing it in my hands. A faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted, the voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. Grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most Peculiar relic. Kingdom of Pride. 
Russia. So this is probably like something from here. Are we in Prussia? Girl, I don't know. The piano is still close. So it's the piano in the hallway. And I know how I know that. armor helmet. That's cool. Really? Danny, I can't throw shit. <sighs> Fine, I'll get a rock. Whatever. I do not enjoy the grading sound. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, then. So, basically, this is going to tell me that there is some sort of secret door mechanism in the local history room. I gotta make it glowing too. I've already seen one so you can right there. One more bag. It's the little pan. You know what I mean. So I'm picking up all this oil. I don't know what you can use it. I think this is a good thing. I do want to read these in here though. So. It is actually dark here. So. 